Today, my friend Smirky is currently trying to beat Minecraft. But little does he know that I installed this morph mod, meaning I can transform into tons and tons of OP bosses. Some of these mobs are so crazy. And I got an idea for what I want to morph into first. You see that beehive over there? Well, I can actually morph into a queen bee. Here we go. And oh my gosh, look at me. I look super evil. So I'm just going to go and fly over to Smirky and just, you know, punch him real quick. Oh, uh, what the heck hit me? Uh, I mean, was it the sapling that fell from the tree? There's no way a sapling did damage to me. That was a little bit weird. How does he not see me right now? I probably shouldn't stand under this tree if saplings fall on me and do damage, so I'm gonna go and grab- What is that? Oh, Smirky saw me. Okay, well, I'm just gonna fly over to a muzzy bee, a giant bee, and I think what I need to do is throw some poison potions on him, because when bees sting you, they actually poison you, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do to Smirky. Here you go. What is attacking me? Is that a giant bee, and why do I have poison? <laughs> this is hilarious. Wait, I gotta keep throwing these poison potions on him. Sorry about this, Smirky. You can so much damage. Wait, I have an idea. Bees don't like water. I learned about that in a science class, so I'm just gonna hide in the water. So it looks like Smirky's trying to hide in the water from me. Well, that's not gonna work. I can morph into a water OP boss, which is called a sea devil. So I'm just gonna quickly go into the water and morph into this thing. Oh, this looks so epic. So I'm gonna go up to Smirky and just, you know, kind of nibble on his feet real quick. What is this big fish chasing me? Okay, I was trying to craft in the water, but I'm about to die. I'm on one and a half hearts. What is with this world? There's like giant bees in there. There's some monster fish just like swimming there. I mean, the water. So, hello, Mr. Fish. You can't get me or are you trying to get on land? I'm just gonna jump out the water and punch him. Bite him. Let's get him. What? Fish, jump out the water. Wait, shouldn't you be able to like not breathe here? Okay, I'm on half a heart. What's up attacking me, fish? I am a super OP fish that can go out of the water. So, sorry about this, Ricky, but I am going to bite you so many times. This is hilarious. Where can I go that a fish would not chase me? Let me think, because I don't want this like piranha looking thing after me. What about a cave nearby? Is there any like caves that I could go into? There's no way a fish would follow me down there. So it sounds like Smirky wants to run into a cave to try and get away from me. Well, I can morph into super OP bosses that can actually go inside caves. Because, you know, fish, they're not really fit for caves. So let me see what boss I can turn into that will fit inside a cave. I think I should turn into this thing called an Archaeac Sentinel. Basically what this is, it is basically just a giant copper golem. And this thing, it is going to do super insane attacks. Oh, wait, I finally found a cave. So I'm going to jump down here and hope that fish doesn't follow me down here. Okay, so it looks like Smirky went into the cave and he has no idea that I am watching right from above him. And I think what I want to do is, you know, this copper golem looks like he has some really big arms. I actually just want to drop some TNT down there. And I think that's going to be a really good way to destroy his iron and troll him. So I'm going to grab myself a ton of TNT and even a flint and steel. And I'm just going to go like this and let the gravity do the job for me. Uh, sorry about this, Smirky. Is there TNT dropping on me? Okay, I am very low. Where is this coming? from. He still doesn't know where the TNT is coming from, so I'm just gonna fly above him in this ravine, and we're just going to drop a lot, lot more TNT. So we're just gonna go like this, and just drop it all along the path that he's running down. Is there TNT creepers? Do you see that? Oh my gosh, I gotta run the other way! These creepers explode me too. Okay, get me out of here. I mean, this TNT is giving me free iron, so I guess that's a good thing about it. Oh, wait, so my TNT I'm dropping is actually mining the iron for him, and somehow he still hasn't noticed this giant flying copper golem and i'm just gonna fly down in front of him and see his reaction i'm just gonna get the iron that i missed in the cave and let me just mine that really quickly sucks i have wooden tools uh what what is in front of me is this a copper golem oh so he noticed me as a giant copper golem and hey actually wait my arms are so big i can actually give him a hug copper golem are you friendly you don't look very friendly but what's that on your chest is that like a clock or something what is that well now that he noticed me and he thinks that i'm friendly i'm actually gonna help him out a little bit let's say i'm just gonna give him like 32 iron ingots let's see if he likes this wait why did you drop me iron ingots i mean it sucks i can't craft anything because i have no wood but thank you for giving me that well now that i've helped out smirky a lot i actually want to do something that copper golems do a lot you know how copper is kind of linked with electricity 
I'm going to summon lightning on him. I can just do slash summon lightning bolt, and I'm going to spam this. Why is there lightning? I'm already on half a heart. Okay, how do I get out this uh, situation? I mean, I guess I go in a room that has a roof, which is right here. That is not going to save you. I'm going to keep summoning these lightning bolts in. Oh, okay, I'm going to die. I, I may as well just build out this cave or something. Because this cave is not safe. There's like TNT in everything. But wait, shall I stay in this cave? There's a lot of TNT in this cave and like lightning, but there's OP bosses up here. So it looks like Smirky's trying to run outside the cave. And that's actually pretty smart because the copper golem can't harm him outside the cave. But you know what can harm him outside of the cave? The super OP sun boss. You see, I can actually morph into a sun, which is actually insane. Look at me. I am now a, a sun. I'm actually kind of stuck in this cave. I gotta like mine my way out. Here we go and look at me. I am enormous and I have a ton of like fire particles all around me. So let me go find Smirky and I want to do a couple trolls to him as the sun boss. So you see he's just mining and crafting. Well I want to do something. I'm gonna do slash slash summon fireball and then what I can actually do is punch this fireball right to Smirky and blow up his crafting table. So I'm gonna do that now. Oh uh, did a creeper blow up next to me or something? I just had a little bit of explosion. I mean I hear explosions but I gotta keep crafting. Okay wait what is happening? Oh what's that? Is that like an asteroid? He thinks I'm like an asteroid but no I'm a sun. I'm going to keep firing fireballs at him. Why are you shooting fireballs at me? I had no idea what was going on. Wait, can I hit these back at you? No, you cannot hit these back at me. I am the sun. I cannot take damage. What are you thinking, Smirky? Okay, so I can't hit the fireballs back, but I guess I should run or something because I, I don't know where to go, to be honest. So the sun just fired a bunch of fireballs at Smirky, but that's not the only weapon the sun has. The sun can actually go in and spawn in a ton of lava on Smirky. So I'm going to go in front of him and just place all this lava. Why is there so much lava around me? I mean, I'm not really falling in it, but this is so, uh, scary, I guess. Let me get out of here. Son, get out of my way. I'm just gonna sit at the bottom of this pond if I have to. Wait, he's gonna sit at the bottom of the pond. You're going to drown, Smirky. What is he thinking? I can't sit at the bottom of this pond forever. I only have one water bar left. I'm just gonna block every exit of the pond so he's gonna be stuck there forever. How do I get out this pond? The sun is placing lava. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and do some parkour and get out. Oh, he somehow got out and I'm probably blocking his entire view. I mean, when I go on F5, this thing looks crazy. I can't see anything. Where do I run? The server's starting to get so laggy from all the lava I'm placing. So I think I kind of want to leave Smirky alone for a second. I'm sorry for all these trolls I'm doing to you. Wait, the lava stopped placing. Okay, I'm just going to go find a lava pool and try and get to the nether or something. So Smirky wants to go and try to get to the nether. And, you know, since I've done all the super mean trolling to him as OP bosses, I think I kind of want to help him out a little bit. And what should I turn into to help? him. So quickly, I'm going to morph into a Cyclops, and this thing actually does look a little bit friendly. I mean, look at me. It just has one giant, like, cute eye, kinda. I mean, the teeth are a little menacing, but hey, maybe I can help Smirky out a little bit with this guy. So where is he anyways? He said he wants to find a lava pool, and oh, Look, he actually found one right here. So what I want to do is, well, it looks like he's in his inventory or something. So I'm just going to go behind him and start placing obsidian. And hopefully he doesn't hear this. So just like this, I'm going to go a couple blocks in the sky. And then I'm just going to build a nether portal. <laughs> he's in his inventory. All right. And then I'm just going to punch him. He might be a little bit startled from how big I am. Whoa, what just did five hearts to me? Um, hello, Mr. Cyclops. Are you friendly? Yes, I am friendly. I don't really know how to tell him I'm friendly. Maybe I'll just crouch up and down. You know, I'm kind of going up and down. Why is this giant, like, crouching? I'm not even going to pay any attention to that. How am I going to get to Nether if I have no flint and steel? Do you see this too, Mr. Cyclops? Oh, so you notice I built the Nether portal for him, and he wants to go to the Nether. Well, I do have a flint and steel in my inventory, so why don't we make him do a little bit of a challenge to get this flint and steel? We can make him do a little parkour course. Watch this. I'm just going to build a pretty easy, you know, couple block jump right here, and then a sideways jump, and then I'm just going to drop the flint and steel right here for him. So, Smirky, if you want this flint steel, you have to do some parkour. Why did it build, like, parkour for me? Uh, you know, I'm just gonna try it out, even though I could just, you know, build right there. Do you want me to do parkour cyclops, or should I just, like, go there and, like, mine it under and drop it to me? Oh, he's asking me a question, so I'm just gonna nod my head for, yes, you should do the parkour. Why does that look so silly when he nods his head? Okay, Mr. Cyclops, I'll do it. Alright, let's see if he can do it. Oh, he did the first jump, and there we go, he did the second jump. I did the 
parkour. Easy, 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 Cyclops. So I'm going to go and light the portal now. All right, he's going to go light the portal. And once he lights it, I think I have another troll to do to him. It's very harmless, but I'm just going to wait for him to light it. Okay, let me light the portal. All right, so now when he walks inside of it, I'm just going to break one of the obsidian like that. Cyclops. Why on earth did you break the obsidian? He is so mad. Okay, here, I'll place it back for you. Okay, well, I'm gonna go now. Thank you for placing it back. Nope, I'm gonna break it again. Cyclops, I don't want to fight you, but I might have to. Now, you definitely do not want to fight me, Smirky. Do you see how big I am compared to you? I am like 10 times the size of you. Here, I won't break it this time. Hopefully, he lights it again because I'm not gonna break it again. Cyclops, you better not break the portal because I am gonna light it again. And I swear, if this thing gets broken, I'm gonna be so mad at you. Okay, I'm gonna light it now and go through it. Bye-bye, Mr. Cyclops. Bye-bye, Mr. Smirky, and you see the problem is I can't really fit through this portal. I mean, look at how big I am. I cannot walk into that tiny little thing. So I actually need to morph into something that's a bit smaller. And what can I morph into? I mean, I want to become a super cool boss. And I also want to morph into something that belongs in the nether. What can I become? Well, I think I should just turn into a normal zombified piglin for now, and then I'll be able to disguise in with all the piglins in the nether. And then once we get to the nether fortress, I'm gonna do some really good trolls as OP bosses. Let me walk it through the portal real quick, and look, Smirky's right there. So wait, let me get a gold sword, so I blend in, and there we go. I look just like a normal zombie piglin now. I'm just gonna follow Smirky around. Okay, well, I need to find the nether fortress now, so let me go and find it. So let me build down here, and take no fall damage. So Smirky's trying to find a nether fortress, and I'm just gonna follow him, and I think a really good troll would be to hit him right in front of other piglins, so then he's gonna think everything's gonna attack him even though it won't i'm gonna go right up to him and i'm just gonna go and slap him real quick uh what hit me i mean there is nothing around other than a piglin yo stop hitting me i'm gonna hit smirky so many times you better get back here <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall. Oh my gosh. Why are you attacking me? Okay, wait, I have a plan. It's gonna be super slow on this, and then I'm gonna go over to the cliff and try and mine it. All right, let's see if he's gonna be able to try and escape me. I mean, he's probably not gonna be able to because I can just fly. I'm in creative mode, but let's go up to him and see what he's gonna try and do. Hey, I'm gonna build a pathway like this and place a wall right here. Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Piglin. Please do not attack me. Yeah, I will attack you. Ah, watch! He just tried to block under me! He totally tricked me, what the heck? Now that I'm away from that pig man, I'm gonna go find the fortress, because I do not know why those pig men are attacking me. Are you kidding me? He really thinks he is so smart. No, 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 Smirky. Just because you did some little trick right there by mining that block, I am going to get some payback on you. You see, it's time for me to turn into another OP boss, and the next OP boss happens to be a, a netherite monstrosity. Just look at this thing. I can't even see see the whole thing in f5 mode it's so big and then look at this thing it is enormous oh <laughs> it is a giant netherite monstrosity let's go try and find smirky and see if he found the fortress oh and i just found smirky and it looks like he's trying to build up to the nether fortress well little does he know that this netherite monstrosity actually has a special power using this gauntlet of the guard i can right click and it pulls him towards me and i just pushed him into lava wait let me pull him out of there real quick oh my gosh wait golem thing attacking me okay i'm gonna to save you, Smirky. Don't worry. I won't let you die in that lava. Oh, I dropped him. Uh, wait, let me pick him up again. Oh, he's probably gonna glow. Oh, there we go. I saved him. I'm at two hearts. I need to eat my food. Golem, are you friendly? But I, I don't know if you are friendly. And there's another pigman here. I'm just gonna mine you into a hole. What is he doing? He's really scared of a pigman when I am here. Well, Smirky, that is the wrong decision. I'm gonna go over and use my second power. Uh-oh. What is that noise? What does it sound like? It's an earthquake. Get back here, Smirky. I'm just gonna keep using this void core power on him, which makes this giant, like, purple stuff come out the ground. All right, I'm just gonna pull him over again with my special power. Oh, he got pushed in the lava. So right. Smirky's trying to build up, and I'm just gonna let him, because I wanna do some trolls up at the top of this nether fortress. And with my special powers, I can just fly up there, and I'm gonna continue to chase him. You better get back here, Smirky. Why is this thing chasing me, and it's pulling me? I'm trying to get to the nether fortress, man. I'm just gonna keep using my special pull power on him, and now <laughs> he's trying to get away but I'm just sucking him in towards me. Okay, what if I mine under, though? No, nope, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna pull him up. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why is it pulling me up? And now I'm falling back down. Oh, you better watch out, Smirky. Okay. Well, he is not really having a good time. Okay, I'll let you run for a little bit, Smirky. Okay, I'm just gonna block off this area. You really think blocking it off, Smirky? How does he not realize that this golem can fly? Okay, it's time to do some more pulling on him. Why can you fly? Oh, I gotta watch out. Don't want to drop him down that big hole. And then there we go. Oh my gosh, I almost done. I'm gonna try to parkour away from it. I mean, it can fly. Oh, I'm gonna pull the skeleton and Smirky at the same time. And then the skeleton's gonna attack him. Oh my gosh, I'm getting super low, golem. Oh wait, so it looks like Smirky went into the fortress. And I actually can't get in there. This thing is way too big to fit in there. I can't even get through when I mine the top. And he blocked it off. So I'm gonna have to find another mob. Yeah, I just sneaked on top of the thing. I don't think that golem even sees me. That is a rookie mistake, Smirky. I'm gonna have to pull you off. Oh my gosh, I almost died. I'm literally on half heart. I, I gotta mine all this fire before I take damage. Oh my gosh, he is so low. I can't even punch him or he'll die. Actually, I don't wanna kill Smirky. I just wanna troll him. So I'm gonna let him be for a little bit. I'm gonna let him get some laser rods for a little bit. And then I'll come back as an even stronger boss. So for my next mob, I'm gonna turn into this thing called a Nether Scourge. And why don't you just take a look at this thing? It is so big and so scary. And look, when I move around, it moves around my super scary skull head. And I got like skulls all over my body. Now this thing actually has a couple items that go along with it, just like my last mob. And so I could put on these things called Flesh Wings. They basically just make it so I can fly around even faster than normal creative mode. I also have this thing called a Flesh Eater Sword. And look at how big this thing is. I mean, you can't really see it while I'm morphed into this thing. But when I left click, it fires Wither Skulls out of it, which is so cool. But that's not it. I also have this thing called an insane bow. When I right click, it fires this red particle trail out of it. And it makes a super cool noise too. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so powerful against Smirky. So let me go find where he is. I think he should be at some sort of blaze spawner. Let me just finish up killing all these blazes. I did not mean to fall down. And let me go back up. So I see Smirky right there. And I actually want to start by firing a Wither Skull at him so he notices me. What on earth is that? Okay, I have to dodge your skulls. I'm hitting him with the Wither Skulls. Yes, let's go. Hey, I need a block off. I mean, I got enough blaze rods in the time that I had to get blaze rods. I just need to run. I see him right there. I'm going to shoot him with this bow that's super OP. You better dodge this. How do I run from this? He's trying to hide inside of here. Nope. Where is he? There he is. I'm going to shoot him. Are you shooting me with lasers? How is there even more OP bosses here? I th they were stuck in the overworld. Are you kidding me? Oh, you're so done for, Smirky. Let me just try and hit these shots. It is hard to hit shots with this bow. All right, and then I'm going to use some more Wither Skulls. Oh my gosh, I just need to run and I'm going to kill this Blaze while it's here. Oh no, you're not going to kill that Blaze because I'm going to go in and start hitting you with my super OP sword. Why are you hitting me? Okay, I'm going to fake that I'm done. So I'm just going to jump down here to place blocks and I'm super low, but I'm getting out this fortress. Really? Smirky just tried to fake his death by jumping off. I can clearly see you block clutch, Smirky, and look, he's just running off. Okay, well, I'm going to let him run off for a second and that was such a good troll. Look at how scary this thing is. This totally freaked him out. Should I stay as this thing or should I turn into something else? I mean, he probably wants to go back to the overworld now that he has all his blaze rods. So this thing's not going to really fit in with the overworld. So let me turn into something else. What can I become? I could turn into this thing called an Iguana King. I think this should be pretty good. Let's see what this looks like. And wait, well, I have these massive like fangs. Look at me and these giant like ears. This is going to be so OP against Smirky. Let's go find this portal and go to the overworld. All right, so I just went down this path that Smirky placed and it led straight to a nether portal. So I actually want to go through this and go do some trolls to Smirky. But the only problem is I can't really fit through it. So I'm gonna have to expand this thing a little bit. If you didn't know, you can actually make nether portals super big in Minecraft so big OP bosses can fit through it. So I think that should be good. Let me get my flint and steel. I'll light it and then I'm gonna walk through. Here we go. And oh, I just teleport to the overworld and we're on some sort of platform here. Is there a giant sea monster in the ocean? Why are there so many OP bosses here? Wait, what? There's just a random giant sea serpent here. What? <laughs> okay, we're gonna team up on Smirk and totally destroy him. So us, my super big king iguana, I'm going to throw some poison potions on him. Why is there a giant lizard down here too? Okay, what is it with this world? I did not put OP bosses in it. Oh, I see him standing above the edge. I'm actually gonna break the block under him and then he's gonna fall into the sea monster. Wait, I can't break his blocks. What the heck? Why is this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> and that thing is 
chasing me in the ocean. And there's so many of these fish after Look me. Look at all the super OP bosses chasing Smirky right now. <laughs> this is so funny. Literal Krakens and sea monsters are chasing him. But it looks like he's going to stand on this conveniently placed island. And the sea monster is killing him still. What? Hey, wait, can I actually kill this sea monster? I can't even hit it. It's just doing like smash attacks. Now I need to do my part. I'm going to throw a bunch of poison potions on you, Smirky. You better watch out. Wait, I'm going to try and get over to that boat over there. Hopefully, I won't be attacked there. Okay, I'm gonna help Smirky out a little bit by killing the sea monster because it is way too deadly. Come here, Mr. Sea Monster. Let me just hit him real quick. Oh my gosh. Is there after me? <laughs> There's still these giant piranhas and stuff after him. Well, Smirky made it onto the boat successfully. Okay, I'm on the ship and I'm just gonna build up because that lizard thing is here. And oh my gosh, after a couple minutes, Smirky built this giant platform to try and survive all the sea monsters around us. This is crazy. But I'm still an iguana king and it wouldn't really make sense if i just flew up there so what's something i could turn into that kind of belongs here i could morph into this kraken mob i think this thing is really really big let's see okay i'm morphing into it and oh my gosh this thing is massive wait i can't even see the top of this wait let me turn my fov up and oh my god this is the biggest thing i've turned into yet what is that squid thing down there i mean good thing i'm safe on my platform i hope oh i see him up there and he's just looking down at me well what's something i could do to troll smirky um he is on a stone platform. Like, I would burn it down so it just slowly gets up to him. But I can't really do that because it's made out of cobblestone. But wait, I could do a command that turns all the cobblestone near me into wood. So with this command, if I press enter, it should work. And oh, it, look, it turned this entire thing into logs. Why did my platform just turn into wood? I think my world is glitched. Okay, now that it's wood, I'm just going to grab myself some foot and steel. And uh, it's time to get this thing burning. Here we go. I'll just start with the sail. I'll put a little bit up here too. What? is happening down there why is my ship on fire wait maybe the kraken has like a fire power i hope not okay so now that it's on fire i can actually speed up the process a little bit by doing this command that makes fire even faster. Here we go. I'm going to type enter and this should work. Here we go. The fire should start spreading really, really fast. And oh my gosh, this entire thing is burning down now. My entire ship is burning down. Okay, how on earth do I get out this situation? He is stuck up there. I'm going to start breaking all the wood up here. And I don't have any wood right now, but now I have wood. So now I'm going to craft myself a boat. Wait, so he's making a boat and I'm just going to fly up here now. It's time to do some crack controls on him. You're not going to be able to craft the boat. I'm going to destroy his crafting table before he's able to. And oh, no, he already been able to craft it. Oh, I bust him off. Oh, my gosh. He clutched. And now he's just in his boat. But there's even more sea monsters. And there's a giant kraken following him. You're not getting away, Smirky. I think I just need to get out this ocean. This ocean is too cursed for me. And it looks like there's a desert over here. No, no, no. I cannot let him get out to the land. I can't destroy his boat. What? Oh, the kraken's not going to be able to kill him when he's on land. Okay, there isn't any desert here. So I just got to get through this area and i can't oh wait it broke my boat but good thing i have a spare one. Oh no i gotta kill smirky you know what it's so worrying about all this i'm just gonna go and try and find the stronghold so i'm just gonna keep following smirky and let's see what he does oh so it looks like smirky's throwing his eyes from ender and he wants to go find the stronghold well hey i'll give him a little bit of break for now i'm gonna stop following him as this super scary kraken i'll just let him go find that stronghold and then i'll turn it to something else so now that smirky's trying to go to the end i want to start turning into some end mobs now I'm going to transform into three different mobs. And I'm going to start off with the mutant enderman. Then I'll turn into a void master. And then I'll end it off with a cosmic fiend. But of course, we got to start off with a mutant enderman. And let's see what this thing looks like. Here we go. Oh, I look so epic, honestly. Let's go find Smirky in the stronghold. Okay, I finally found the portal and I just lit it. Let's go. I'm getting out this cursed world. Let me just beat the game first. So Smirky just jumped through the ender portal and I am right behind him. Somehow he didn't see me. I need to break the roof so I can actually fit into this ender portal. There we go. And I, right, I'm going to jump in in three, two, one. And let's go. Here we go. And what's going to happen? So I just spawn in the end and... Oh, there's Smirky. I see him right there. Wait, it looks like another Mewen Enderman found him. Okay, so I'm gonna fly up to him, and I'm just gonna hit him myself, and maybe the Mewen Enderman will kill him too. Why is there a Mewen Enderman attacking me? Okay, I'm fully back up. So now that I'm in the end with Smirky, the Mewen Enderman actually has a special power. So let me grab his special power real quick, which is called an Ender Soul Hand. And then with this, I should actually be able to pick up blocks and throw it at Smirky. So let's do that, and just throw this End Stone at him right there. I'm just gonna keep throwing these End Stones at him until he notices. I thought the 
make it just pick up blocks. <laughs> nope, Enderman can now throw blocks. Well, at least me and Enderman that have been morphed into Gan. Where is Smirky? I need to throw this block at him. Oh my gosh, I'm building up. Oh, there's Smirky. It's time to throw this at him. <laughs> I'm just going to use the blocks he's building out of to throw at him. It's throwing blocks at me. I just need to beat this Ender Dragon, man. Oh, okay. So he's trying to beat the Ender Dragon. I'm just going to keep following him. And he's probably going to be really, really scared still. Now that Smirky destroyed every single one of the crystals, I think I don't really want to be a Mew and Enderman anymore. I mean, they're very cool, but I have even cooler OP bosses. So I'm going to turn into the Void Master next. And if you just want to take a look at this thing, it is enormous. Look at this. I can't even see myself when I go in F5. It's just my eye. So I'm just going to go over to Smirky and just stare at him. What? on earth is this? It is just like a big ender pearl. What is this? <laughs> I don't even know what I look like here. If you look at this little menu right on the left, you can kind of see what he sees. I'm just a giant like couple eyes combined. I'm just gonna keep staring at him. What is that? Do you want to help me beat the dragon? Please say you do. I don't want to fight you. He thinks I want to help him beat the dragon? No. I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna replace every single end stone around here with air. This thing isn't attacking me, so I'm just gonna look up at the dragon and keep attacking it. I almost have it on half elf. Okay, so he's doing a lot of damage to the ender dragon, so I'm gonna do a command that turns all this end stone into air. I'm just gonna keep doing this because I am a super magic wizard eye, and I, this is just gonna scare Smirky a lot. What? What's happening here? I can't even look above me. All I see is just a black box. I'm just gonna keep turning the floor into air. And if he falls, he is going to fall into the void. What is happening? There are so many Endermen after me, too. Should I get out? He's trying to get out of this giant hole in the end stone I've made. Well, oh, look, it, he's on the bedrock. So now that he's on the bedrock, I can actually do a command that makes this bedrock in the air. So you're not very safe there. Just letting you know. Why did part of the portal just disappear? Is it this void thing? Or like... I think, what is this? Yes, it is. I'm just gonna try and punch him. I can't really move around very well with being so big. So, come back here, Smirky. How am I supposed to defeat the Ender Dragon if this thing is here? <laughs> there we go. I think we've got him enough with the Void Monster. Let me just turn the End Stone to air a couple more times. So, I made this giant hole in the floor and Smirky almost just fell in the void. And now, it's time to turn into my final OP boss. This is going to be the most powerful one yet. So, there's Smirky. Now, I'm gonna turn it to the boss. Here we go. The cosmic fiend this thing is massive so get ready oh my gosh i can literally only see my eye that is how big i am whoa look at this i have like giant tentacles too i think i i can't really see them but this is epic but not only am i just gonna morph into this thing i'm gonna spawn a couple of them myself so there's smirky right there well you're not gonna be alive for much longer because i'm going to spawn in a bunch of these things here we go let me do the command and look there is three cosmic fiends what my whole screen is purple look at these things they're just fighting each other, actually. Wait, where is Smirky? Oh, I see Smirky right there. And I am just dressed up as these cosmic fiends, too. Because I morphed into it. And I'm going to spawn so many of these things. It is about to get so crazy. Why are they doing so much damage? Haha, <laughs> this is probably going to kill Smirky so fast. He is not going to be able to kill the Ender Dragon. What is happening here? Do you see this, Enderman? What is this happening? Like, there's so much, like, blue fire and stuff everywhere. Okay, I can't get out of this. I think I'm going to die. Smirky is so done for. We... I just spotted so many of these cosmic fiends. Okay, and I'm gonna get a super OP weapon too. Here we go. I'm gonna get this thing called the Space Devastation. And when I left click, it literally fires fire out of this sword. So I'm gonna go and try and kill Smirky real quick. Come back here, Smirky. Come on, I need to hit him. You are so dead. Come on. I Yes, I hit him. I killed him. Let's go. I died and I lost everything. Now that I killed Smirky, I think the prank is kind of done for. Now that I killed Smirky, the prank is kind of over. So I'm gonna go turn back into my normal self, and I'm gonna TP to Smirky real quick. I'm just gonna punch him real quick, and hello, Smirky. Uh, Cardi, why are you here? Oh, wait, I guess you just showed the server. Cardi, yeah, you should not be on this server. This server no, is no, no, cursed. No. Smirky, Smirky, Th this server's not cursed, Smirky. I was the one behind all of that. What do you mean? All those super OB bosses that were spawning, that was just all me. I just morphed into them. Look, I can literally morph into this cosmic fiend right now. What the heck is that? Get me away from it. No, Smirky, it's just me. It's just me. Oh, Oh, actually? Yeah. So sorry, Smirky. I was just pranking you this whole time. Um, okay. Well, I guess I forgive you. All right. That's good to hear. Thanks <laughs> everyone for watching and make sure to claim your OG ticket by subscribing. Many people don't know, but this is actually one of my first videos. I mean, I only started this channel a month ago. So if you subscribe, you can be one of the first subscribers. And come on. Who doesn't want to be first? Claim your OG ticket. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>